a blindfolded Catwoman is led by Batman into his secret hideout. The blindfolds comes off and Catwoman stands witness to the Batcave. Batman locates his contingency plan for the Justice League doppelgangers and shows Catwoman the kryptonite ring for Superman, a lightning rod for the Flash, and the yellow ring of fear from the Sinestro corpse for the Green Lantern. Undetected by our heroes, the grid watches on. Metropolis. Luther attempts to shock Black Adam back to life while Captain Cold fashions a cold gun out of appliances. Luther deduces that this Ultraman is reversed from the Man of Steel. Kryptonite gives him power, but he is hurt by sunlight. Luther knows that Ultraman can be defeated. At the Army Depot, Metallo wreaks havoc while he seeks his target, General Lane. Ultraman flies in and without any warning rips out the Kryptonite from Metallo's chest. Superwoman swoops in. Ultraman is now aware of the baby in Superwoman's womb. She claims that the baby is theirs. Ultraman also learns that Superwoman has been spying on Owlman's plans to overthrow him. Or so she says. Central City. Deathstorm scolds Power Ring for screwing up and allowing the rogues to get away. Power Ring is further scolded by his ring, whom hungers for more power. Against Power Wing's pathetic begging, Deathstorm flies away leaving a frightened Power Ring pleading to the grid for help but to no avail. Gotham City Sewers, the new Injustice League led by Luther finds their target, Wayne Enterprises. They crash through the ceiling and discovers a surprised Batman and Catwoman. A green explosion erupts and Power Ring makes his appearance with the aid of Deathstroke and company. An all-out war breaks out. Seeing no way for an easy victory, Batman puts on the yellow ring of fear and transforms into the yellow lantern. Green and yellow clash but Power Ring gains the upper hand by removing and destroying the yellow ring of fear. An overconfident power ring gloats but is shot down by Sinestro himself. The battle rages on but without power ring, Sinestro catches up to his frightened prey. In the last ditch effort of bravery, power ring fights back but is easily overpowered. Sinestro grabs hold of power ring's arm and in one swift move chops it off. Deeming Power Ring to be too damaged, the ring flies off seeking a new host. A weakened Power Ring is now free of its master and says thank you. Sinestro accepts his gratefulness with death. The Batcave, a missing kryptonite ring causes Ultraman to lose his temper in front of Superwoman and Owlman. A message from the Great informs the Syndicate of Power Ring's death and that his ring has released a pulse that can be felt across the multiverse. The Syndicate meets up in time to witness a red tear in the sky. Ultraman says that the creature that destroyed our world has found us. Wayne Enterprises Deathstroke is convinced by Luther to betray his team by killing Copperhead. Luther's team wins the battle and gains a new ally. They face off with Batman but instead of fighting, they discuss their hatred for the Syndicate. Sinestro enters and announces the death of the Green Lantern Pretender. Luther convinces Sinestro to join his alliance and offers Batman the same deal. Batman agrees to join only if he is in charge. Catwoman disagrees. Three miles outside the fallen Justice League headquarters, Batman and Luther bickers amongst themselves over their big egos. Catwoman urges Batman to stand back. Luther gives the command to head into the water and begin their assault. Arriving at the fallen watchtower, Batman hacks in and opens the doors. Shocked, they witness Nightwing hooked to what Grid calls the Murder Machine, a unit designed to hold Doomsday. Moments later, Alfred contacts Owlman to inform him of the break-in. Alfred enters a room where the masked prisoner is kept, but Manta grabs him by the neck and ends his life and declares they all die. Captain Cold comes out of the shadows and wonders if the prisoner is a member of the Syndicate. Batman approaches the murder machine and offers an apology to Nightwing. As the countdown begins, Luther deduces that Nightwing is attached to a bomb. Nightwing warns Batman that the bomb is attached to his heart. The bomb only stops if Nightwing's heart stops. Batman attempts to disengage the bomb but Luther betrays him. Luther will save the day his way as he suffocates Nightwing to stop the bomb. Sinestro and his makeshift team of villains investigates the hallway. Suddenly the Syndicate erupts from the exploding walls and attacks. Black Adam is ready for round 2 and rams Ultraman out of the melee. Back in the prisoner chamber, Cole releases the restraints. Suddenly, Johnny and Atomica enters and attacks. Atomica keeps Manta busy but cannot enter his wetsuit. Johnny removes Cold's gun but unbeknownst to him, the gun is voice activated. Positioned at Johnny's leg, Cold activates the blast. With a swift kick, Cold removes Johnny's leg from his body. Horrified, Atomica leaves Manta's body to her boyfriend's aid. 
The stranger finds an opening and shouts a reversed Shazam. Lightning races through the skies and breaks up the battle between Adam and Ultraman and strikes the stranger. The thunder shakes the compound and knocks many to their knees. Johnny crawls to Atomica and Batman, taken by his rage, strangles Luther. The prisoner grabs Johnny and snaps his neck, ending Johnny's life for Cold and Manta to witness. The stranger turns to Cold and Manta, stating that he is Alexander Luther and he will kill everybody. What's going on guys? Welcome to Comic Island. My name is Joey and today we are reviewing Forever Evil issues 4, 5, and 6. So the crime syndicate has lost three of their members now. Alfred, Johnny Quick, and Power Ring. I'm gonna miss Power Ring the most. He has so much character. I love the banter between the man and the ring. It seems like this version of a Green Lantern ring enslaves its host instead of empowering them. I would love to see him survive to the end, but how epic is that that he is killed none other than Sinestro. So Ultraman says that the thing that killed his world is now here. It's a big red rip in the sky. Could it be Galactus? It is the Marvel Multiverse after all, so it could be a ton of different villains that they can choose from. I'm curious what it is, but I'm still very intrigued by Power Ring in this issue. So I love that at the end of this issue, Batman is still headstrong at being the alpha dog, but the stare that Luther and his new allies gave Batman is priceless. But Batman will have to put aside his ego and make new allies if he has any hope to defeating the Syndicate. So in issue 6, Sinestro has allied himself with Luther's cause. I find this very odd for two masterminds to work together. It's like having two alpha dogs in a pack. It shouldn't work. One would most definitely betray each other. Batman is also an alpha dog and as we can see, Luther and Batman turns on each other at the end. I can't imagine Sinestro taking orders from Luther for too long. So the Syndicate has lost powering in the last issue, and now they lost their Alfred in this issue. As much as I love heroes, I love anti-heroes even more. I was definitely rooting for Mansa when he killed Alfred, and how badass was Captain Cold. I was never a fan of the rogues before, but I am now after the voice activation cold gun move on Johnny Quick. And the big reveal in this issue is that the masked prisoner is Alexander Luther with the powers of Shazam. I had imagined that their Luther would be a good guy, but this Luther wields the power of Shazam said backwards. He seems even more diabolical and unstable than Ultraman at this stage. What throws me off is, where is Alexander Luther getting his powers from? In the DC Universe, our Billy Batson gets it from the wizard Shazam that lives in the Prime Universe. So are they saying that the Alexander Luther's powers of Shazam can transcend the multiverse? Or is he leeching the Shazam powers from the Prime Universe? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Anyway, the final review for Forever Evil Issue 7 is coming soon, so watch out for that. Thank you so much for watching my review of Forever Evil's Issues 4, 5, and 6. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.